Last round on AFC Outdoors, our bass anglers got a taste of Queensland's Lake Boonduma. Yes. All of our pros caught the legal limit of two fish, but weight is the name of the game, and fourth place Team Savage failed to land the big fish they needed. Oh, drop me. Finishing third was Team Mercury, who had a good early session, but even Schofield's best efforts failed to deliver anything of substantial weight. Ehrlich from Team Netspace had a consistent day, upgrading a couple of times to finish second. But the round went to Team Shimano's Harry Watson, who with only six minutes to go in the session, caught the biggest fish of the day and started Shimano's assault on the championship in style. Will Shimano keep top spot after this round at Lake Lentils, or will the other teams close the gap? You're watching the Australian Fishing Championships. Steve Starling and welcome to round two of the Australian Fishing Championships. Our tours arrived at beautiful Lake Lenthals on Queensland's Fraser Coast, where once again our target species is Australian bass. With only one round under the belts of our anglers, it's really too early for a breakaway lead to have opened up, but Team Shimano's Harry Watson and Chris Wright have taken a four-point lead over Team Netspace. Not a bad performance by Team Mercury last round to take third spot, and the boys from Team Savage will be hoping for a good result today to propel them up the leaderboard. Well, I'm here with championship leaders, Team Shimano's Harry Watson and Chris Wright. And Harry, that was a great win at Boonduma. That fish six minutes from the end really did it for you, didn't it? Really helped. Yeah, you don't often get that last cast fish sort of thing. And as soon as I turned around and had a look at the watch and it was six minutes to go, I had barely time to get him into the well and get going. So, yeah, that, uh, that, that, that gives you a little bit of confidence, yeah. And Chris Wright, winning seems to be in your blood, mate. You haven't even put a lure in the water yet and you're on the winning team. Well, you've got to choose your partners wisely for these sort of competitions, Steve, and I reckon I've got the gun here, so it's going to help me a lot. Well, Chris, we'll see you in action next round catching Brim on the Gold Coast, but today it's bass, so good luck, Harry, and let's have a quick look around the arena. The second of our four bass arenas is Lake Lentils in southeastern Queensland. It's situated not far inland from the Fraser Coast, just half an hour's drive north of the city of Maryborough. Lentils is a pretty little lake, characterised by relatively narrow, twisting arms and many sheltered bays carpeted in luxuriant water lilies and studded with snags. The lake's been well stocked with bass and there are also reportedly a few golden perch, saratoga and even the odd barramundi swimming in these placid, tannin-stained waters. Lentils is renowned for its spectacular surface fishing for bass. Our competitors are almost certain to try a little of this topwater action while the water's nice and calm. Later, as the sun rises higher and the day heats up, things will get tougher and the guys will most likely switch to a range of subsurface lures, including the use of hard-bodied lures, spinner baits and soft plastics. The game plan to fish lentils is going to be um, working the surface in the morning because it's a good surface fishery. The bass will take surface lures, which should be exciting. So there's a lot of structure here and a lot of weed beds. Just keep fishing them and, and just see what pans out through the day. The fish aren't fussy here. They'll eat a lot of things, so it's just going to be a size game and hopefully my luck will be in. I'll be just out there fishing against the fish. I won't be concerned about the other competitors at all. I just put that out of my mind and it's the fish and myself and that's as good as it gets. And this is what the guys are chasing today, the beautiful Australian bass. It's a hard fighting native species, can be very aggressive but can also be rather challenging to catch. And now over to Matthew Campbell for the start of round two. Thanks very much Steve. Another beautiful morning for round two coming to you from Lake Lenthals. The weather will be fine, and with round one under their belts, these pros know how important the points will be. And as you can see, there certainly is some tension on their faces as they prepare for the start. There's the Club Marine clock. We count down to 6 a.m. What a great day it promises to be. There's the siren. We're underway for round two, and as our pros take off rather cautiously, let's just recap the rules. We're fishing catch and release for a six-hour session, a maximum bag of two with the heaviest bag winning ten points. Carl Jockamson from Team Savage, he's the youngest of our pros and here he is in the second of our bass angler profiles. Um, I actually got into fishing with my dad, he uh, first took us fishing at Kooby Dam, 
I caught my first fish at Fraser Island though. I was on the beach for about three hours fishing by myself and Dad just left me and I just fished for three hours, never moved and yeah, I got this flathead and that was it. That was the end of me, I was hooked for life. <laughs> I basically had to earn my respect in the, into the Bass Pros and, and I think I've done that with, with how I've done in the tournaments and that sort of thing. I love it, so I just go out there and pretend it's a day's fishing like with my mates and, and I go out there and do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there he is. Yes, got him. Yeah. That's a fat bass. I'm really excited about this series of the AFC Outdoors. Um, just basically the team's event. Uh, I get to fish with Ian. I can learn off him and he can learn off me, hopefully. And um, but for the viewers, they can see young fellas uh, like myself can get into it and we're sharing our, our secrets and our techniques and they can learn that and hopefully get into the bass comps and, and one day could be doing what we're doing in, in these awesome boats that we're fishing out of. It, it's just unreal. And here is the young gun of our Bass Pros, Carl Jogginson. Nothing in the well so far, still early in the morning and as predicted, he is surface little fishing as you can see. Haven't had a single strike on surface yet. I'm going to stick to it because often just nothing, nothing, and then you can just get absolutely creamed out of nowhere. So I'm, uh, I'm going to stick with it for a little bit longer. Not the start Team Savage was looking for. Only time will tell whether Carl has made the right decision. And here's our championship leader, Harry Watson from Team Shimano. In the same spot as Carl, but using a different tactic, using subsurface lures. Yeah, work that cast. And it appears to be working. Oh, he's not a bad fish either. Oh, he's a nice fish. I'm in a fish. And there's number one. He's not big. He may not be big to Harry, but it's a start. One in the well after 45 minutes. Coming up, the tactics and techniques of our pros are tested on the Australian Fishing Championships. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors. This is Team Mercury's John Schofield. Now, he's fly fishing. Now, this is a technique that he's renowned for. As you can see, just stripping the fly, short, sharp, jerky retrieves, and this always seems to pay dividends for him. There he is. It's not big, but he's a fish. This will be number one for Team Mercury. A very confident John Schofield in control, just poles it into the boat. That's number one. Now, this is the first time we've seen Jason Ehrlich from Team Netspace. Already one fish in the well, and look at the weeds. Snags are a real problem here. He has to be very careful. He's coming a little bit there. Each time I'll just take the line back up. Slowly making a bit of headway with him. It's easy does it here for Jason as he slowly guides the fish out of the weeds. He's still attached. He's still on. He's coming. He's coming. Here he is. Nice fish. All the hard work's been done. Now it's just a question of popping the fish into the net. Very impressive skills from Jason Ehrlich. That's what we want. Yes, that's what we want. Woo yes. Now that's what I want. That's a nice bass. And that's a great start for Team Netspace. Two fish already in the well. So we take a look at a replay of the first fish. Look at the weeds all over that bass. Great skills to negotiate it through the structure. And that was just before 7 o'clock. Two good looking fish for Jason Ehrlich. Back with John Schofield from Team Mercury. We saw him fly fishing before. It was successful for his first fish. But he's changed his rig. Now using a bait casting outfit. Two hours into the competition, and it's paid off once again. And look at the load through that rod. He's having to work very hard here. This one's a better one. It's a little bit better. Oh, well, we can get rid of that little one in the well now if we get it in. The fish is towing John to the back of the boat. Not a lot of room for both he and our camera operator. But he's in the best position now to make it number two. Oh, the huff and puff has paid off. Oh, yeah. That's two different rigs and two in the well for Team Mercury and John Schofield. Not exactly what we're after, but we're getting there. We're getting there, and that's the main thing. We're back now with Team Savages' Carl Jockemson. And like John, he too has gone for a change of rig. Before he was surface luring, now with a bait casting outfit in and around the weeds. Yeah, got him. Yes. 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 Ah, oh, geez, he had some go for a little fish. 
Haul him aboard. That's two. Whew. Two fish. Let's take a look at Carl's first fish from earlier on. Once again, he just poles it into the boat. And the change of tactic working for Carl. Two good-looking fish. And after a slow start, things are looking up for Team Savage. Back to Team Shimano's Harry Watson. He's got one fish in the well, and we're halfway through today's session. I'm casting this small jackal into the weed beds <clears throat> and sort of hopping it back and letting it sink a little bit more every time so that it's following the, the slope of the weed bed down. And what's happening is I, <clears throat> I think these, these fish are sitting a little bit deeper and they can hear that lure going rattle, rattle, rattle and vibration. And because it's sinking down in front of them, they think it's a bait fish that's wounded. So they're actually taking this lure as it's falling, swimming down. A great description there from Harry, using a lipless crankbait, and it could well be the day of the jackal. He's only tiny too, I think. He's a fish. I think he's big enough to net. But I don't think he's much If he lands this one, one it'll be two, and all upgrades from here on in for Team Shimano. Oh, he's bigger than that one in there. Oh, that's better. That'll do us. That's great stuff from Team Shimano's Harry Watson. Coming up on AFC Outdoors. Oh, -ha! Ooh, that hurt. All the action continues. That's the one I wanted! Welcome back to AFC Outdoors. All our pros have their limit. This is Harry Watson, who we saw just before the break get his second fish. Now with plenty of time to upgrade. Margarita and another fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa, baby. This is the one. Man, is this technique working? Whew. I'm just, they're just taking this floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is the fish we really want. I hope this bloke doesn't come off. This is a nice fish, I think. Either that or he's a small one with the turbo going. Might have had his red ball this morning, I think, this bloke. Come on, big fella. Oh, he's a good fish. He's a nice fish. He's one of the ones we want. We want two like this fella. Oh, go in there and don't fall out. Oh, man, look at that fish. Whew. That's a fish for in here. That's what we wanted. An absolutely no. beautiful fish for Harry Watson and Team Shimano. And we're back with Team Savages, Carl Jockinson. Yep, mine again. Yes. Yes. Holy sense. Swim straight out. Please hold. Come on, baby. That's a better bass. That's an upgrader. Oh, slammed it out of them logs. Oh, right, right and right next to the logs. Yes. Yes. Got rid of that little one. <laughs> there you go. That's a better lentils bass. No question about that. Things are really looking up for Team Savages' Carl Jockinson. We return now to John Schofield. Two fish in the well. He's looking for an upgrade. We've seen him use a couple of different rigs today. Now using a spin tackle. So he's gone for rig number three. Still plenty of time for a big upgrade. And he's on. And he's really going to have to work here. Showing some patience. Steely look of John Schofield. Look at the load on that rod. This could be a big fish. Not the first time today we've seen him use all of the boat. Desperate to land this fish. Oh yes, oh yes, he was around the tree, I thought I'd lost him, oh yes, oh, oh. oh that hurt, that hurt, it's obviously weakened my leader when he went round that tree there, that was a kick of fish, that was 
Oh, dear. Huge disappointment for John Schofield. Dare I say it, the one that got away. Now, here's Jason Ehrlich. We saw him earlier pull two fish out of the weeds. It's been almost three hours since he had some success. He's changed locations, and he needs something to happen, and it has. Here we go. Missed a couple of fish just before, but now I've hooked one. Don't know how big he is. He went for a good run to start off with, but now he's going a bit easier. It's not just too bad, but we'll put him in the net and measure him up. He's an upgrader, all right. All he needs to do is slide this one into the net, and it'll be his first upgrade. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This isn't a long fish, but geez, he's fat and thick, and I can just feel the weight in him. He's so thick across the shoulders. A good upgrade for Jason Ehrlich. Now it's over to Steve Starling for an update on John Schofield. We're well into the event now, and Johnny Schofield from Team Mercury has been sitting in this one spot for well over an hour. He's been getting hits, catching the odd small fish, and he lost an absolute thumper a little while ago. He believes it might have been one of the biggest bass he's ever seen in Lake Lentils. It could cost him the day's round, but he's still hanging in here, and he's still persisting like a real champion. He is a real pro, John Schofield, but it's our young gun, Carl Jockamson, who one. continues to impress. That's a good fish. Oh. Come out. He's come out of the logs now. I've got him out. Oh, he's going. Just going to back my drag off a bit now. Oh, yes, nice bass. That's going to be an upgrader. Ah, get off there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a good fish. Team Savages, Carl Jockamson, <laughs> really setting the pace here on Lake Lenthals. Now we're back with John Schofield. He's on, looking for that upgrade. We heard from Steve Starling how patient he's been, and it looks like he's on for another big fish. Just yeah, half an hour to go. And as we saw in round one, how important this last half an hour is. Harry Watson won the competition in the last six minutes. It's very hard to know which one of our pros is in front at the moment. All of them have been upgrading well, so this could be very important in the context of today's competition. And once again, John is having to work pretty hard to land this bass. Yes. 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 Look at him. A big fish and a relieved John too. Schofield. But Carl Jockinson's not done with yet. Oh, he had me in sticks down there. Oh, no. No, he's got me in sticks. Oh, come out. Yes, I've got him out. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh you're kidding me. Had me lock snag. Come on. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I wanted. What a yes. fantastic finish by Carl Jockinson. Yeah. Has he done enough? Oh, look at that. It's too tight to call. We'll find out after the break. There's three other really good fishermen out there doing what I'm doing, so it's going to be tough. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors. We're with Team Netspace's Jason Ehrlich preparing for the weigh-in. And what a weigh-in we're having so far with just 100 grams separating Harry Watson from Team Shimano and John Schofield from Team Mercury. But Jason Ehrlich, he finished second in round one. Can he go one better today? Steve. Nice couple of fish, Jason. Now, how was your day, mate? Looks like it was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I um, took a while to get a couple of fish, but probably 40 minutes into it or maybe an hour into it, I had a couple of nice fish around about that size and just upgraded slightly later on in the session. Well, they're two very handsome fish. Let's whack them on there and see what they go. And it's 2.57 kilos. Well done. Ooh. Jason Ehrlich, the new leader, but Carl Jockelson, who finished fourth in round one, looking for a reversal of fortune. Good on you, Carl. Now, uh, you went way up the back today. You were nowhere near the rest of the teams. Uh, how did you go? Oh, an unbelievable day, yeah. I caught about 25, 30 fish. I just had a, one of the best sessions ever. It's great. Now, do you think you can beat uh, Jason's 2.57? That's the big question. I don't know. It's going to be close, but... Um, it's going to be close, but we'll whack him on. And... Yes! Yeah! 2.5? Yeah! No! <laughs> 
What a finish for Team Savage and Carl Johnson, getting up by just 20 grams. A superb performance. John Schofield, that fish got away, but he still ends up with a nitro big fish at 1.61. As we check the scoreboard for round two, there was nothing in it between all four pros. Jockinson picking up 10. Early for the second week, picking up eight. Watson with six. Schofield, three, plus two for the big fish. But here's Carl Jockinson with Steve Starling. Carl Jockinson, Team Savage, a fantastic day for you today. How do you feel, mate? Oh, I can't describe it. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, can't, I just, you know, I thought I, been Doomer, I, I thought I let Ian down. I really wanted to do well, and, and I've done this. I'm just, I'm the happiest man alive. Carl Jockinson over the moon as we check the leaderboard after round two. Team Shimano still lead on 18 points. The consistent Jason Ehrlich sees Team Netspace on 16. Team Savage off the bottom on 13. And in fourth place, Team Mercury with 11. Well, what a winning combination today for Carl Jockinson and his Savage 480 Pro Angler Boat. The same as used by Team Mercury, which features full casting decks, twin live wells, comfortable seating and cavernous underfloor storage for all of your fishing tackle. The best feature, though, is that they get you there and back quickly, which means more fishing time for our pros and for you next time you're on the water. Carl's is fitted with a 90 horsepower Mariner and it clocks over 40 miles per hour. To test drive a 480 Pro Angler, contact your local Savage dealer. Well, a narrow win for Carl Jockinson from Team Savage in this round, but narrow is all you need to pick up those all-important points. And if you missed the AFC series on television last year, or you just want to relive some of that great action, make sure you grab yourself a copy of the DVD from any good retailer. And if you're interested in getting involved in tournament-style fishing like this, check out our website at afcoutdoors.com.au. Next round, a complete change of pace and of location. We're off to the Gold Coast and our Brim Pros will have their chance to strut their stuff and earn yes. some points for their team. But before we leave you, a few words of wisdom from Carl Jockinson on how you can profit from lentils next time you wet a line here. Today the plan didn't work with the surface in the morning, so I went around looking for these sunken logs and I cast the ghost wakasagi jackal and I just sunk it down deep past the trees and just rolled it out and halfway they were just smashing it. For that I used the Ian Miller spiral wrap, the bait caster, and it was really light so it allowed me to feel the logs and the weed but it had heaps of gut so I could pull them out of the snags. I had 10 pound fire line with uh, 16 pound litre and um, it was just a great match and it, it did the job.